Hey everyone, this is Lutz and today I'm going to show you exactly how this works. Isn't it cool? Stay tuned. So for this video I prepared a small GitHub page so you can easily follow my video doing the same thing as I do. Copy and paste those comments we need here and in this video you get all explanations for understanding what you're doing. So the first thing we got to do if we want to have a website running on our Raspberry Pi, we need to install a Apache web server and we also need to install a PHP because we need the PHP functionality as well. So if you already installed it, you don't need to do this, but I have I am using a new install Raspberry, so I have to install those packages and So this should go really quick and during its installing we can have a look into the files I will give you in the github. So the first thing what we have is the PHP. This is just a simple website with a button and the button has just the value LED and the name LED and the size and the white. And what it does is if it's get pushed we will call a python file what is called toggle and this file we have here and this is also really simple i try to minimum it to the basics to give you just that understanding what you need to do it with the scripts you want to use so you can just extend this in the python way or you can just add here different things to the php file so at the end it should be just explaining you how it works and how, what kind of rights you have to set at your Raspberry that it's probably working and not making all the mistakes that the guys are giving you in different tutorials where they give pseudo permissions to the web server. This is something what is absolutely wrong, don't do this. So just follow my instructions and we will come to a good solution at the end. So. Yeah, I will be back when it's finished with installing and then we will proceed with the rest of the comments here. So after installing the web server, you can check on your browser if everything is working just by typing in the IP address of your Raspberry and then you should get that page here. And now we can clone the GitHub repository by just using the git clone command and then we just copy the direct directory where we want to go and then it's just downloaded and now you have located it in your home directory so it's that one gpio over php so what we do as next is that we just go inside and have a look what is inside and then you find both of these files what i mentioned before what we do next is that we copy the php file to the web server so we just say sudo copy index and then we just give it to the web server and afterwards we have to remove the index file on the web server which is actual this page you just saw when you type in your IP address and if it's the HTML is deleted it's automatically choosing the PHP so we don't have to do anything here. Next thing we're gonna do is that we make a small adaption in that file because it's not made for your Raspberry it's made for mine. So we need to make sure here that the toggle file is placed right. So what I have to do is that I can change the position of the file. So in my case it's here. I just uh, copy that one to my home directory and then it should work. So now we see that it's here and everything is fine. So. Right now it's not executable, but uh, 
you can do this but with a script as it is we don't need to change it so now comes the part where most tutorials get wrong some of the tutorials just try now to make it possible that the web server user is able to run those gpios but they have no idea how it works with the permission in the Linux system. You don't need to give the user of the web server the super user permissions. So what we do is that we just add the permissions we need. And if this is new for you, I made a video about permissions. I can give you the link here. So if you want to learn something about it, feel free to watch this video. And then we just add the permission for GPIO. And the last thing we have to do is that we just restart the service for the Apache web server. And Apache 2. And then we have to put restart. And now when I make an update here, I've got the page I showed you in the start of the video. And then we can put the link and it's working. So if you have now any problems by doing this, just write it down in the comments. I hope it helps you by doing your own projects. And if you have special wishes, would you like to see in the next video? Also write it down in the comments that I can do it on my to-do list. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.